Hey, you guys, welcome back. All right, so in this video, we're going to sit down and we're going to have a little face to face chat. Okay, so last week, if you guys watched or participated in the Tuesday mixed bag Twitch stream that we did, where we talked about um, backing up files, we talked about um, good notes syncing, cloud syncing, what the difference is between cloud and external storage whole big shebang, right? So if you were there for that stream, then you know that I was having a little bit of trouble with GoodNotes. Okay. So I did a bit of digging though. Okay. I was quick to dog on GoodNotes and be like, it's just not working, but I did a little bit of digging. So, okay. First thing I checked was that my cloud storage, my literal iCloud storage was going to be sufficient enough to back up my GoodNotes file. I went into my settings on my iPad and checked and my entire GoodNotes file was about 60 gig. Okay, give or take a couple, but it was right around 60 gig. That's a lot. <laughs> so I went into my cloud and was shocked to find that I only had like 30 gig available when I pay for 200. So I was like, oh, okay, maybe this is a problem. So first and foremost, I needed to find out what the heck was taking up all the space on my cloud. So I went in again, digging around, seeing what I could find. Turns out I had some iPad backups on there from like 2019. And I was like, I don't remember doing this. I don't remember saying, yes, please back this up here. It's probably an automatic feature, honestly, but I didn't think to turn it off. So I turned that off. I deleted those old backups because they aren't even for an iPad that I have anymore. And I went through and just made sure that everything else that was in there was supposed to be there and that I knew it was there. So walked away with about um, 60 gig of content total in my iCloud. So I have like 140 some empty space, right? Okay, so that was the first problem. And I was like, okay, this has got to be it. So next thing I wanted to make sure of was, as you guys know, we are now in October. So we are nine full months of content into our digital planning year if you're a January to December planner like I am. So that's however many you know, sticker kits, we're not even going to count those, but then you've got a nine month main planner, you've got extreme planners, you've got memory planners. So my good notes was like probably a little bit bloated at this point. So I was like, okay, we're going to give this the full chance that we can to work. So I went into my good notes. I opened up my MacBook and I meticulously airdropped every single file from my good notes to my MacBook. Now, that took me about probably 45 minutes, but again, I have a lot of files in my GoodNotes. So it stood to reason, and it was reasonable to assume that GoodNotes was just like, whoa, girl, you're starting with way too much. So I was like, okay, so we're gonna start fresh. We are gonna start fresh. I took everything off. I put everything in the trash bin on the iPad in GoodNotes, emptied the GoodNotes trash bin, and then deleted the app from my iPad. I then rebooted my iPad and did the same to my iPad mini. Now I didn't have anything on my mini, but I was signed in. So I wanted to make sure that it wasn't like finding stuff in the trash or, you know, how programs will just kind of do that. So I did the same thing on that one. I went into the trash bin. There was nothing there, but I still deleted the app, rebooted the device. And then I powered both devices back on went to the app store and downloaded GoodNotes on both. And then I set them to sync to the cloud because when you first open up GoodNotes, it says, let's get you started. And then cloud sync is set on by default. So I was like, okay, we're good to go. And this is where the problem started. So I was like, okay, cool. And I thought to myself, I was like, okay, ideally I want to be able to plan on my mini but I always plan on my pro. So I was like, let's focus here and then let the cloud sync send it over to the mini. So I um, imported my main planner only. This is my 2021 planner, everything that was on it. And I imported that one first. I imported it, it imported fine. It opened fine, it worked fine. However, on my iPad, the 
iPad Pro, when I backed out of the file, back to my documents page, it had the little sinking cloud thing on there for maybe 30 seconds, and then it errored. And I was like, okay, this is it. This is it. I can do nothing else to make sure that this works. So as of right now, this was at about 11 o'clock today when I downloaded the last file, or rather uploaded the last file to my Pro, thus bringing GoodNotes back to where I had it. And as of right now, I have one book on my mini that came through and a bunch of error messages. So, I mean, I don't know how many other tries to give it. I went through and made sure that I had all my cloud storage space. And if my entire GoodNotes library will even be generous and say 70 gig, it wasn't because it started with a six, but we'll be generous and say 70. Even if it was 70, which it wasn't, I have 140 available gigs in my cloud drive. So do the math, right? Do the math. And, and I have a contained Wi-Fi signal in my office that is only for my office, okay? We have regular internet in the rest of the house, but my office has its own Wi-Fi. So the only things on it are the things that are literally in this office. My router is right here. Like I could, well, I can't reach it because I'm short, but it's right there. So we've got 400 meg download speeds and 30 meg upload speeds. So they can't say that it's my internet. They can't say that it's my cloud storage. And now they can't say that it's my tablets because I have the newest tablet of both lines, right? I have the 2021 Pro and the 2021 Mini. So everything is as upload, uploaded, updated as it can be. Everything's running the latest OS. Everything's running the latest version of GoodNotes. There's literally nothing else I can do. So... What I'm thinking I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep my regular planner on my iPad Pro, but I think I'm gonna try another program on my mini. Like, not even mess with GoodNotes over there because I have everything in my Dropbox now, so I have access to all of my files. So I could try an, another app entirely and just test the waters, right? Just see what might work better because this Cloud Sync is not it. It's not it. It's not working. I gave it every opportunity I could and it just won't work. So that's going to be it for my GoodNotes cloud backup saga. I was hoping that I would be able to say that I was converted, that I would be able to say, oh, I was wrong. This works great. Can't do it. I cannot do it. That is that is it for me. So I'm going to get off this ragging on GoodNotes train. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just going to go back to playing with my October stickers, creating my October content and let it be what it's going to be because I'm sick of fighting with it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I hope you're having better luck with it than I did because I am giving up. It is not, it's not for me. So I will see you guys in next week's video. I hope you have an awesome day. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.